Hello and welcome. Link down below in the description box as always if you want to read these at your own leisure. So Planet Zoo Steam Update 1.3.3 is now available. Let's get right into what it does, shall we? Added a new sandbox option to disable maintenance. Stops vending machines, water facilities, power facilities, toilets, and rides from breaking down. Tweak the input fields for sliders into a capsule design. Added the ability to type numeric values for temperature humidity sliders. Fixed staff facilities, sometimes not showing their negative impact radius after first being placed. Animals will no longer break barrier walls when dilapidation is turned off. Fixed missing string for animal colorization on the zebra, panda, and garial albinos, or garial albinos, however you pronounce it. Fixed staff not moving animals from trade center to designated habitat, or staff and guests struggling to navigate down a four meter path with vending machines snapped to both curb edges. Fixed mechanic not visited for a long time, notification appearing with barrier dilapidation turned off. Fixed and exhibit temperature humidity missing tooltip text or Fahrenheit temperature sliders skipping numbers or an issue when subscribing hundreds of workshop items would eventually crash the blueprints tab on the browser. Fixed an issue where pressing escape in the community challenge window would lock out keyboard input or an issue when animal dies in the box, it was impossible to unbox it or move it. Or an issue with the conservation management not allowing setting back to none. Or an issue where you would need unsubscribe to a workshop blueprint twice before it was removed from construction menu while in the game. View all of the species button and exhibit info panel should now filter animal list to only show that species. Fix the new world area light to function as it did before the 1.30 update. Fixed guests littering despite bins being present. Staff and guest navigation fixes. Now I'm just looking for some performance fixes. This is a game I purchased and really, really liked. But I still want to cover the game because it's actually one of my favorite genres of games. But it just performed like an absolute pile of trash on my computer. And I have some pretty good specs. And I know someone who's got like an i9, you know, way up there overclocked and has like an RTX 2080 Ti or something like that. And even he has a hard time getting the game to, you know what I mean, to run smoothly. So the purpose of these videos is always, like I've said, it's to even let you know that an update is out. Read out the patch notes. It sounds really exciting. I've had a few smart asses in one of my last videos that said, who the hell would want to watch this? You don't tell us what you think of the patch. Well, it it's not to give you my opinion on it. That's a different video if I actually own the game. This is to bring the awareness. Hey, psst, did you know this? You may or may not have played the game in a while. I don't know. And uh, some people just don't like uh, reading patch notes. I've had tons of people want to have them narrated out for them. So it's for those people. Again, in life, you can't please everybody, right? So even though I don't play the game... I still think it's an important and relevant enough of a game that I wanted to bring this to your attention. So, there it is. There's my rant for the day. So if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But if you didn't like the video, it's okay. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll just break it off in your ass. If you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be well appreciated. But if not, it's okay. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and, well, maybe I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye now.